In Creo Parametric, you can create piping designs and then capture manufacturing information for those designs in smart tables and drawings. One of those tables is a bend machine table, but there is a step you're going to have to perform in the piping environment first. Here I am in my assembly model. Let's go to applications and then piping. Over on the right hand side of the ribbon, we have the piping info icon. I will click on it and it opens up the report pipeline dialog box. For a bend machine table, I will go to the info type dropdown list. Here is the kind of table that I want to create, so I will select it. And then I'm prompted to select a segment or a direction. So let me select a segment. And this is the important step. Here we have a box that says designate for report setup. We need to check this box if we want to have this information available in drawing mode to use in a repeat region. So I will check the box. This will open up a, an area with my saved analyses. Here's the one that I created for a bend location table. Let's type in a name and I will call this bend machine and then hit the little save icon. So now we have that as a saved analysis. By the way, if you want to see what this report looks like, you can click on the little eye icon and it'll open up a window that shows you what would be shown in the report. We've got our bend number, offset, twist angle, bend angle, and bend radius. So that's the same table I'm going to create in a drawing. Let me close this small window and then close the report pipeline dialog box. I already have a drawing started in another window. In another video, I created the bend location table. Let me create the table for the bend machine information. I will go to the table dropdown. This is going to have five columns and it's going to have two rows, a header row and also the row for the repeat region. So let me choose that and I'll place it on the drawing. And at this point, I'm going to fill in the information quickly. I've already shown how to fill in the information in several other different videos. So let me do that and then we will come back. Okay, I have filled in the header information. So now I will click on the repeat region command. We're going to add a repeat region. It's going to be a simple repeat region. Now I'm prompted to locate the corners. I'll create it from this cell to this cell. Let me click done to get out of the menu manager. Now I'm going to double click in the various different cells to fill in the information. So I will double click in this cell. It opens up the report symbol dialog box and except for the last part of the parameter, everything's going to be the same. We're going to go to assembly, member, pipe, segment, coordinate system, bend. And in the first location, I'm going to put the machine number. Let me double click in the next cell. We're going to put again, the same information, assembly, member, pipe, segment, CSIS, bend, and then this is going to be the machine offset. And then in the third cell, assembly, member, pipe, segment, CSIS, bend, and then this is going to be the machine twist. Let's see, now we're on to the bend angle, assembly, member, pipe, segment, CSIS, bend, and this is going to be the machine bend. And then for the last one, this is going to be assembly, member, pipe, segment, CSIS, bend, and this is going to be the machine radius. Okay, so now all the information is filled out. Just like in the previous video on bend location, if I click on the update tables, well, it's going to look like we have an empty table. Let's go to repeat region and change the attributes for this region. And we're going to choose no duplicates and recursive 
then done return. Now we have the information populated in here. Oh yeah, let me go into this and select the first, excuse me, let me get out of there. <laughs> and now let me get the row and go to the format and I'm just gonna center justify everything. And so that way I have created my bend machine table. Once again, to save myself the time and effort of doing that over and over again in different drawings, I'm going to select the table, then save the table out to a folder. And let me call this my bend machine folder, or I'll call it piping bend machine, just so that has the same start as the other table that I have created in here. So let's click the save button. And in that way, I've created the bend machine table and saved it out to disk.